Hi, my name is Lewis Oliver. I'm a former uh, professional football player. I played professionally uh, in the NFL for eight years. I played with the Miami Dolphins for seven of those years, one year with the Cincinnati Bengals. And prior to my NFL career, uh, my football college career started at the University of Florida in Gainesville for the uh, Florida Gators. Having an academic scholarship that allowed me to walk on the football football team, and eventually I earned a full athletic scholarship. And from that point, uh, I spent four and a half years at the University of Florida, um, two-time two-time consensus All-American at Florida, playing the safety position, uh, three-time uh, All-Academic uh, SEC, um, All-Academic. Uh, uh, made the all-academic uh, uh, football team, all-American football team, and, um, you know, all SET team three years in a row, two-time All-American. Coming from just transitioning from the college game to the professional game, I mean, even though the game of football is the same uh, pretty much everywhere, you gotta, you gotta tackle, you gotta catch the ball, you gotta run the ball, you gotta block, those type of things. But you know, the game of football itself is, is a lot more, some, more of a mental game going from the college game to the professional game. I mean, everybody on, on professional teams, everybody has speed, everybody has athletic ability. So to separate yourself, you have to be more mentally prepared on the on the professional level as you do as opposed to the collegiate level. So I just tried to pattern myself from my from my college days at the University of Florida. Just try to prepare myself as best as I, as I could from a mental aspect as well as from a, a physical aspect. Get my body ready, get my mind right to play on the professional level, and you know just having a a, a pretty solid. Uh, uh, college athletic career playing from uh, college football that allowed me to be drafted first round by the Miami Dolphins uh, in 1989 so but the game like I was uh, saying earlier the professional game is a, is a lot more mentally challenging than the collegiate game because you have way more plays you have way more to focus on for me playing football professionally uh, the game was great it was great to me um, a lot of achievements, uh, um, rookie of the year, um, what else, uh, second team all pro 1991. At one point I was tied with the, I had the lead for the longest interception return for a touchdown in NFL history, but that was broken by Ed Reed from the uh, Baltimore Ravens. Big up to Ed Reed, he's a great player. But I played I play, uh, safety, both uh, free safety and strong safety from the, for the Miami Dolphins and the Cincinnati Bengals. Like I said, I finished with about 33, 34 interceptions, a ton of tackles, a ton of big hits, you know, and I, you know, I feel like I had a pretty nice career, so that uh, I'm excited about. Well, well, for me, retiring wasn't that difficult because I had, I, some, I pretty much prepared myself for the for life after football. A lot of guys go into professional sport without a plan for for after the game. When the game's over, they don't know what they're gonna do. They don't know what direction their life path is gonna take. So for me, once I retired, I just knew I was just gonna go into business. I was gonna be successful. I made a lot of prior, I made a lot of contacts prior to to retiring. While I was in the game, I connected with a lot of people in a lot of different industries. Just just so I could be better prepared for life after football. So for me, retirement was, was a e very easy transition. Once I retired, I knew the game was over. I wasn't trying to be a jock anymore. I was just put my, I put myself, my mindset was to just go straight into business mode. You know, I have a successful real estate company. I also have a successful marketing and promotions company. So for me, life has been great, it's been easy. You know, the game of football was great to me because I used it to, to, for life after football. And I think a lot of the young guys today, what they have to do is prepare themselves for life after football. The game of the game itself won't be that long. I mean, you may, if you're lucky, you may play eight, 10 years like myself, maybe a, l a little longer. 
but the game itself and life itself is so much longer after that, so you really have to prepare yourself. So for me, I, I just feel like, hey, you know, I use the game to benefit me and my family for life after football.